Hello grade 4 students, how are you? I wish everything is going great with you. Actually, in this uh, video, we are going to uh, re-explain our lesson which is multiples in another way so you can practice more about the lesson. So, this is our fourth online lecture, but we are going to make a, a revision for our lesson which is multiples. Okay? So, let us start by this lesson. So, again, what's the meaning of the word multiple? A multiple, it's the product or it's the answer of the multiplication of a number with another number. So, whenever you multiply a number by another number, you will get the multiples. And you have to start first by 1. So, you multiply the number by 1, then by 2, 3, 4, and so on. So the multiples, for example, of 4, you start multiplying the 4 by 1, it's 4. 4 by 2, it's 8. 4 by 3, it's 12. 4 by 4, it's 16. 4 by 5, it's 20. 4 by 6, it's 24, and so on. That's why the multiples are infinite. What's the meaning of infinite? They, we cannot count them all because you can every time find a number to multiply the 4 by, okay? So the multiples are infinite. You cannot count them all. And now, the multiples form a skip counting pattern. Skip counting pattern. For example, suppose you are giving the multiple a five uh, as if you are counting five so five plus five is ten ten plus five is fifteen and so on so without counting actually uh, five you add five you add five so you just multiply the five first time by one by two by three and so on that's why we say the multiples are skip counting patterns and as an exercise, you have to list the multiples of 7 up to 42. So give me the multiples of I can't ask you to give me the mul all the multiples of 7 because we cannot count them all. So I can tell you, for example, give me the multiples of 7 up to 42. So you start 7 times 1, it's 7. 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 3, it's 21. 7 times 4, it's 28. 7 times 5 is 35, and 7 times 6 is 42, and we are done. So those are the multiples of 7 up to 42. You can use the inverse operation of multiplication to see if a specific number is a multiple of the given number. What I'm trying to say is that, suppose the question is, is 108 a multiple of 6? Of course, you cannot, in this case, list the multiples of 6 until you reach the 108 and check if it's a multiple or not. There is an easy way that you can do in order to know if this number is a multiple of 6 or not. What you do is the opposite or the inverse operation. So you check, is there a number you multiplied by 6 to get 108? So you do 108 divided by 6. After doing this division, the answer is 18. So 6 times 18, it's 108. That means that 108, it's a multiple of 6. Okay, so if you want to check if a number is a multiple of another number, what you do is the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. Now let us practice some exercises. Find the first 10 multiples of 3. What we are trying to find, the multiples 4 is number 3. How many multiples? 10 multiples. So we start. 3 times 1, it's 3. 3 times 2, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. So those are the 10 multiples of 3. As I told you, this is a skip counting pattern. So every time we are adding 3. Okay? So this is the first exercise. Now you need to find the first 6 multiples of 8. So we are trying to list the multiples of 8. How many? 
six multiples of eight. So we start six ti uh, eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, eight times four, eight times five, and eight times six, and we stop because I need only the first six multiples. So as you can see, those are the multiples of eight. Now in question number three, they are asking us, is 40 a multiple of eight? Did you find 40 in the multiple of eight? Yes. So a 40, it's a multiple of eight because eight times five equals 40. So this is the inverse operation. Now is 63 a multiple of five? Of course not. Why? Because we cannot find a number we multiply it by 5 to get 63. So 63 is not a multiple of 5. And now we are going to talk about something which is called a common multiple. And a common multiple, it's a number we can find it in common between the multiples of two numbers. So a multiple that two or more numbers have in common. So suppose we are trying to find uh, the common multiples of 3 and 6. The first thing I'm going to do is to list the multiples of 3. So the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. And now I'm going to list the multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36 and so on now can you see multiples that are common in 3 and 6 at the same time the first common multiple as you can see it's 6 the second common multiple is 12 and 18 of course you can find a lot of common multiples if you just continue listing the multiples of the numbers okay but they asked us to find the first three common multiples only. So those numbers, we call them common multiples because they are found in the uh, multiples of the two numbers. So the common multiples are 6, 12, and 18. Now, They are asking us, is 36 a common multiple of 6 and 9? So can you find the 36 in the multiples of 6 and 36 in the multiples of 9? Let us check. Well, what strategy would you use? It's the division. As I told you, it's the inverse operation. So 36 divided by 6 is how much? And 36 divided by 9 is how much? So 36 divided by 6, it's 6, and 36 divided by 9, it's 4. So, yes, 36, it's a common multiple of 6 and 9. Now, let us practice some exercises. So, is 42 a common multiple of 6 and 9? As I told you, what you do, it's the inverse operation, which is the division. 42 divided by 6 it's 7 because 6 times 7 is 42 but there is no number when you multiply it by 9 to get 42 so 42 it's not actually a multiple of 9 so it cannot be a common multiple for 6 and 9 at the same time now list 10 multiples of each number and circle the common multiples for 3 and 6 so this is the multiple of these are the multiples of 3, and these are the multiples of 6, and the common multiples, as you can see, 6 and 12, 18, 24, and 30. Of course, as I told you before, if you continue the multiples, you are going to find a lot of multiples. And here we come for the least common multiple, the LCM. It's very easy. The smallest multiple that two or more numbers have in common. So as I told you before, we can find a lot of common numbers between uh, the common multiples between the numbers. But actually, I care about the least common multiple. So for example, 
find the least common multiple of 6 and 8. So I'm going to list the multiples of 6 and the multiples of 8. The multiples of 6 are 6, 8, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on. Now 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and so on. Can you see common multiples? Well, the first common multiple is 24. So we call it the least common multiple of 6 and 8. Of course, there's a lot of multiples uh, that you can find them. But what, what I need is the least common multiple. So we say LCM equals 24. So guys, what we learned that a multiple is formed by multiplying a given number by counting numbers, one, two, three, four, as I told you. A common multiple, it's a multiple that's shared by two or more numbers. And the least common multiple is the smallest common multiple of numbers. And that was everything uh, for this lecture.